What's up guys, my name is Jess. We're going to be doing a guide on the easy cake base. It'll be easy to make. Number one, set the egg timer to zero in the world settings. Bring that slider all the way down to zero. You don't want to be waiting for the egg. It takes too long. Number two, got to make ranches. Four pals per ranch. Use whatever you want, kind of pals you want, but you need to have these pals. The first three, cows, chickens, and the bees. The last one, the, the capritis are just re recommended in the early game. Now, click the link in the description and or on screen for a more in-depth guide on the ranch palace in general when it comes to what you're gonna slot into the ranches though you want to put in those four pals okay um, we're gonna get into why very soon so you see me just slotting them in yep you gotta find them boom 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 now when it comes to pal passives I recommend getting those for Nocturnal, Work Slave, Sirius, and Artisan. And wiping Lucky. Lucky is no longer the best for in terms of work speed. And because work speed affects grazing, you get the idea. Now, number one of the pals, you gotta find the cows. Number two of the pals, you gotta find the bees. Number three of the pals, you gotta find the capritis and then the chickens. But yeah, so the bees are probably gonna be the most difficult ones out of all of them. Because these guys have a knack for kamikaze and ain't, ain't pretty. These are the capritis. These are the ones that produce red berries. This way you don't have to rely on your farming pals, right? They're harvesting and planting pals to be working overtime consistently for red berry plants versus wheat plants. You know, this way you get two birds with one stone, right? Because you only have so many slots available to you in your pal box, right? In your pal box at the base. Yeah. So here are the chickpeas, they're literally anything that looks like a chicken, it's them. This is the only pal that actually looks like a chicken. Like, if I, I don't know how much more I have to explain that. So yeah, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna witness what we have to work with. So right here we got the ranches, they all are in their own specific pen. And this just helps with organization, they will automatically go there if you have slotted off their need to work on different tasks so you just eliminate everything else in the monitoring sand and whatnot so make sure when you do the chest un unslot the uh, ability for ingredients to go in there you don't want that because then it's gonna expire and then it's gonna be sad you don't you don't want things to get lost make a cooking pot they, those are the ingredients on screen to make them grab the materials and then the only thing here is you have to have a cooking pot at the very least to make a cake right and to fire up the cake to cook them you need a high kindling pal anyone is works but level three is mandatory i'd say level two you're just not gonna have fun okay level three is ideal level four is best and then level five is bonus you know extra if you can find a level five which you have to fully ascend to pal to get there then by all means now here i am only slotting in wheat crops this is the this is the you know the key you don't want all these pals to be focusing on the berry farms because the wheat turns into flour, and flour is 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 difficult to uh, obtain early on because you have to first produce it, you have to grow it, plant, or you have to plant it, grow it, harvest it, water it, turn it into flour, then make it into cake. You know, it it's tedious. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Chess. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.